Okay. All right. Good. I can concentrate now. So <laughs> we, I believe, are uh, live to YouTube as well, so people can watch this part going on. Can everyone else hear me correctly? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. So just a bit of background on this session. So today is the um, the VIP network lunch hour for the VIP session of the um, VIP pass. And uh, when I recorded uh, the session with Roxy um, for the conference, I was just so inspired and I wanted to attend one of her parties and I kind of thought probably other people would want to too. And so like after we stopped recording, I um, asked if she would be able to kind of run a little bit of a tea party for us as a part of the conference for one of these live sessions and so that's kind of what we're doing right now um we are um, so she's going to give us a little demonstration do some tea stuff and then she's also got some competitions involving um uh teacups so if you have a nice teacup around your house go and get it now in the meantime and um we are going to be uh also playing a bit of a game of virtual bingo i believe and I've never done that before. So I think Roxy is going to um, kind of walk us through how that all works. But um, yeah, <laughs> but we'll kind of leave that up to her to, um, to take it away um, when it comes to that. Um, so that's kind of how it all works. Again, if people want to... For people who have in the other in of it or answer specific questions as well for Roxy. I just saw Roxy joined again now, so possibly her sound might be better now. Do you want to test it out, Roxy? We'll see. In the meantime, what I can actually get for everyone is there is a link to download your bingo card. Um, I'm going to get that. So um, I will put that into the chat and we will get, I believe this could work. So basically what happens is you can open it up in another, I, I think, we have to check with um, Roxy how it works, but I, I think. I'll put I'm it here. Can you see me, hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, you know, I totally forgot that I've got more than one device here at the office. I've got an iPad and all kind of other stuff. So um, thank goodness for multiple devices. But yes, ma'am, you can put the bingo card link in the chat and then everyone will be able to click on the link and then their bingo card should pop up. It'll pop up in a browser window. Browser window. And I'm sorry, Miss Yolanda, I didn't mean to pop in and take over. I'm gonna I'm gonna mute myself. Oh no, no, Roxy, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. I okay. want you to come in and take over. Okay. <laughs> this is that's exactly what you're supposed to do. So, like basically, what I want, and like um, so this half hour is up to you. But first of all, I just want to let you know the link that I clicked on is disabled, and I believe I other heard. people is disabled okay. as well. So let me um, log back into it. Are you guys excited to blend some tea this morning? Yay. We are. <laughs> yes. Let me see if I can re um, reassess my little window so I can see everybody. Can y'all see me? We can. You look great. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Good morning. I am so excited to have y'all here with me. I am Roxy. Today we are, I'm, I'm so excited, y'all. First of all, I normally do my morning tea parties by myself here in the office. So I am so excited that I get to have some company this morning, you guys. Did anyone have any, like, I don't know what you guys' morning intentions are. My morning intention or my morning routine typically consists of writing out my intentions for the day, what it is I hope to accomplish. So do you guys have anything that you guys are looking to accomplish today? Y'all can just throw it out, honey. You don't have to, you don't have to be on mute. This is an interactive conversation, y'all. I know many of you guys haven't been in my workshops before, but they are very interactive. Um, we, we talk back and forth to each other. So um, yes, 
please unmute yourself if you have any intentions um, that you would like to share with the group, um, any positive affirmations you would like to share. We would love to hear them today. Well, well it's my I'll, birthday I can today. share. Oh, Tracy, go oh, first. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say it's my birthday today. So I'm just happy gonna... birthday. Oh, yeah. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, that's happy always birthday. a good thing. Happy, yeah. birth happy <laughs> birthday, honey. Listen, well, listen to your intentions for your, your solar return. I guess I'm going to follow that up with it's my kid's third birthday. So your birthday buddies. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, hey, it. Happy birthday to you, to you too. Um, but my, I was just going to say my intention today in particular has just been all about taking a step back and looking at all the nonsense around me and trying to make some sense of it. So yes. you know, fingers crossed any progress is made. <laughs> I heard that. Thank you so much for sharing and happy with it. Um, it was, how do you say your name, Dina? Dinah. Dinah, beautiful and happy birthday to your baby, Dinah. I love it, love it. Who would like to go next? No, Dinah, don't bother trying to make sense of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a little something to say. I think my intention today, as for this entire week, is to listen to all the speakers on the conference and take in what is of value to me uh, so I don't get on overwhelm. But most importantly is really to interact with everybody. This is, I'm having so much fun. I'm having a blast and it's really terrific. I'm really appreciating everything. And I'm so happy. Uh, yeah, and yours this morning, in fact, I sent all your information to a friend who is suffering from polycystic ovarian, oh, oh, ovary syndrome. PCOS, yes. Yeah, and so I am I sent it to her because I thought, oh, this could really, really okay. help her. So thank you. Thank you for sending her my way. Thank you, thank you. My, my number one goal is to help over 1 million women completely reverse PCOS just like I have. So, so thank you for helping me meet my goal. I look forward to speaking with her. Who would like to go next? How we get this bingo gang together, honey? I can go next. All right, we're listening. Hi, I just saw your session, Roxy, and I loved it. I loved your energy. And what I'm really loving about this whole conference is that I'm getting to meet real people, not just on book and on YouTube, but real people who are out there brave enough to, you know, step into this um, field and you know speaking for myself I am still very very uh, I'm, I'm an elementary or, or uh, school level uh, when it comes to herbs I'm still learning and yeah. uh, I get very scared whether I should step forward or this is it so you know when I hear these stories and these conferences that and the, and the groups that I'm meeting I feel very encouraged and I get a lot of um, uh, you know, love for the topic I'm working on. So I think it's, it's been great. I love it that I'm with real, real people and I see real faces, real stories, real journeys and real effects. I love it. Oh, so, uh, it's very, it's been very nice. I can't wait every morning, nine o'clock to sit down with my sessions, even though I know I can listen to the recordings, but it just feels like, oh my God, my day starts at nine and I, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm really happy to be a part of this group. I'm glad um, this actually fell in my lap. I didn't research it. Just I just saw and I thought, yes, I want to do that. Look at there. And the universe is answering my questions of help me. How do I move forward? So I feel blessed. Yes. I love it. I absolutely love it. I am in the process, you guys, of putting the bingo link in the chat. And you guys, if you would like, please um, go ahead and start some water. So this is how we're going to do today's um, tea party activity, because normally what I do is I send everyone a kit that has over 30 items in it, over 15 different herbs, and we talk about each of them, and then we blend the nice yummy, yummy blend together at the end. So we're doing it a little bit different this time because we don't all have the exact same herbs in our area. So how we're gonna do this is you're going to um, grab your 
favorite, favorite, favorite tea, whether it is from the Camellia sinensis plant, true tea, which is white tea, green tea, black tea, pure tea, oolong tea, right? Or you can grab yourself your favorite herb or set group of herbs. And we are going to blend our favorite tea together. And then we're going to play a game of bougie tea party bingo. So I hope everybody is ready to win some prizes today. And then I don't know if Yolanda told everyone, but we are going to, oh, oh I just completely cut my face off, y'all. We're going to have a teacup competition, a um, cutest teacup competition. So if you've got some teacups in your pantry, some vintage cups, Honey, and even if you only got some coffee cups, girl, go on ahead and get your coffee cup, get your tea cups, because we're going to have a little competition at the end. And whoever has the cutest tea cup, we're going to do it by a poll, okay? Whoever has the cutest tea cup will win a bougie uh, garden apothecary gift box, and it'll be full of some of our top selling herbs and teas. So you'll get iced teas, blooming teas, hot teas. Um, and we may even add in a little tea bomb in there for you guys. And then the winner of the bingo game that we're going to play, they will receive a free uh, VIP kit to our workshop. Any workshop of choice, you will receive a free kit and free entry to our tea party. All right. Everybody ready? Yes, yes. So please. Um, Go ahead and start your water. Now, if you are, is anyone in here going to be brewing or um, making true tea, tea from the Camellia sinensis plant? Anyone doing green tea or black tea? Anyone doing oolong tea in here? You can raise your hand. I can see you, honey. You can raise your hand. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I have black tea. Are you guys aware of the water temperature for the different types of tea that you're going to be brewing? Because that is the most important part. Let me tell y'all one of my pet peeves, okay, while I get this game together. I don't know about you guys, but has anyone ever gone to like a coffee shop or a tea shop and you're like, hey, I would like to order this green tea. And they just give you a hot cup of water with the green tea bag. They don't tell you how long to steep it. They don't tell you anything. And then let you forget that you've got this green tea sitting in your green, your, your, your hot water. Now the tea is disgusting. You don't want to drink it. It's too astringent. That is one of my biggest pet peeves when I go to coffee shops, y'all. I just roll my eyes every time. And I know I get on their last nerves because I'm like, what, what water temperature is this, okay? Uh, so yes, water temperature is going to be very, very, very important depending on which type of tea you are brewing. So um, I am very hopeful that if you guys have been brewing this tea blend that you're going to be drinking today for quite some time, that you are brewing it at the proper water temperature. But if you do have any questions, please just yell out your questions. Today, I am going to be blending a beautiful color changing blend today. I'm going to be doing butterfly tea flower with um, lemongrass, that is going to be my blend. I normally do um, a one part butterfly pea flower and one part lemongrass. Um, is everyone aware of how to measure parts? And when you're reading a recipe or a formula and it says, you know, two parts of chamomile, three parts of this, half part of this, is everyone aware of what that means? If you're not, I'm honey, not just throw aware. it out. What's no. that? Yes. I'm not aware of how to do that. Okay, so parts, all right? We are going to, anytime you see the word part, you are going to substitute it for whatever measurement that you are deciding to use at that point, okay? Um, whatever measurement tool. So whether that is a teaspoon, a tablespoon, a cup, that is going to be your part. Now, you just want to be sure that you are consistent throughout the recipe, all right? You can't use teaspoons and, and cups within that same recipe. You want to stick with one measurement tool. So if the recipe, like if I was blending, like right now I'm going to be creating a blend for just myself. I only am creating enough for about one to two cups of tea. My measurement part is going to be either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. 
today it's going to be a tablespoon because I, I would like to make you know quite quite a few cups um for myself so wherever i see the word part or wherever you see the word part you are going to substitute that word with your measurement tool so again today i'm going to be using tablespoons i'm using tablespoons so the recipe formula for today is one part butterfly pea flour and then one part lemongrass so what does that mean who wants to throw out what my measurement tool is and how much of my measurement tool i'm going to use one tablespoon. Yes, honey. Who said one tablespoon? Uh, it's Kristen. Kristen, I, I, you know what? In my workshops, I give out participation prizes, honey. I write down the names of people who throw out the answers. And then we do a nice little uh, shuffle shuffle at the end. And I draw a name to give out even more prizes, okay? So, Miss Kristen, I've got your name, honey, and I've got your last name, and then I will get with Yolanda to get your contact information, okay? Um, but yes, you are absolutely correct. So my measurement tool is going to be tablespoon and I'm going to use one tablespoon of butterfly pea flour and then I'm going to do one tablespoon of lemongrass. Has anyone ever tried butterfly pea flour? Has anyone ever brewed any of this beautiful, yummy, yummy um, herb? Yes, I love it's the so good. Right it's good. It's I would so love to know good. how it tastes like. I yes, have a it's, it's Yes, honey. Uh, this is Stephanie. Is that is Hi, Butterfly? Stephanie. I can see Hi. you. Uh, Hi, I'm so excited to get to hear your talk later when I finally get to watch it because uh, yes. yeah, you're on my list of must get to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. Yeah, it's exciting. I always want to stand on the corner downtown with a big thing of tea and just give people tea. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. My question is a uh, butterfly pea flower. Is that Clitoria? Yes, good job, uh, Ternatia. Good job. Yes, clap, clap, clap for her. Yes, yes, for getting that Latin botanical name correct, honey. You are correct. I am doing a menopause talk via Zoom tomorrow night, and the picture on the event is <laughs> butterfly pea flower. Yes. <laughs> Honey, it looks very familiar, doesn't it, girl? It looks real familiar. I love including this um, plant in my wellness workshops. I also love including this plant actually as well in my aphrodisiac workshops. Um, so yes, there are amazing qualities. And I always tell women, if you ever are feeling down on yourself, women rule the world look at the clitoria flower look it looks just like our part okay so if you ever get down on yourself nature has created beautiful beautiful medicine that looks like our parts okay i always keep that in the back of my head when i feel a little down on myself girl but yes ma'am awesome job that is beautiful i'm gonna write that down <laughs> And I'm yes, gonna tell honey, you people, do. when they feel down, look, look down. When you feel down, look down. Yes, the glory of you. <laughs> yes, you are literally beautiful. And there are literally plants that look like our parts. If you look up the um, butterfly pea flower plant, what it looks like, um, you will definitely see the resemblance. Um, I went ahead and posted the bingo link in the chat. Um, there is availability for 250 players, okay? So if we've got over 250 people in here, the first 250 get to play, all right? So go ahead and go to the chat and click on the link. And by now, hopefully your water is brewing. Again, you guys, I am making an herbal, um, an herbal concoction here. So my water is going to be at about 212 degrees, boiling, boiling hot, okay? When we're dealing with herbs, we wanna be sure that our water is, um, is, is at the right temperature because otherwise we won't be able to extract the medicine, right? We won't be able to extract the medicine. Um, one of the things that I did want to point out, you guys, um, okay, she said she missed how to get a bingo card. All right, Miss Teresa, just look in the chat, honey. Look in the chat. Just scroll up just a little bit 
and I posted a link. It starts with HTTPS colon slash slash blah, 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 blah. Click that link, Lev. All right. Um, so one thing that I do want to point out to everyone, and um, many of you guys probably already know this fact, but it's really, really important to be sure to, you want all of your, your, your phytochemicals, all of your medicine to stay in your cup, okay? So if you are brewing a nice cup of tea and you're letting it sit on your counter just like so like that, and you see all of the, the, all of the steam evaporating into your environment, that is your medicine, okay? We don't want that floating into your space. You want to trap all of that inside of your cup. So if you are not in a, in a place where you have something to cover your cup with, okay? As you guys can see, I'm, I'm at my office. I'm not at my house right now. And there's times when I don't have a saucer to cover my the top of my cup, right? What I love doing, you guys, is I just stash a mason jar that is specifically for tea, okay? And this is how I trap all of my phytochemicals easily inside of my cup. I simply use a mason jar. I simply use a mason jar. Um, one of the things that I do, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys two different techniques. What I'm doing today is using a French press. Um, I love using a French press. Has anybody used a French press for tea? in the class before, yeah, or, or okay, so yes, yes. awesome, yes. Um, quite a few people, oh, I right. love, I, I don't drink a lot of stimulants, but I, I love, love using um, a French press for, for, for tea purposes. However, if I am not in the mood to clean out my little thing here, or if it's just not accessible, I just don't feel like it, honey, there are those moments, I will simply just use a organic tea bag, Fill my herbs up inside of the little organic tea baggie, right? You guys following me? Put the bag inside of your mason jar. Fill it up with the water and then close it. Now all of your phytochemicals are trapped inside of your jar. You don't got to worry about it. I sit it on my counter. I go about my business for a little while. Let it steep for its 15, 30 minutes, however long I'm deciding to let it steep for. Um, and, and especially if I'm using it for a chronic illness that I, or not even just a chronic illness, anything that is irritating to me, right? If I got a cold and it's irritating, I'm going to want my tea to steep a little bit longer. If I got an itchy throat and to me it's a little irritating, I'm going to let it steep a little extra longer, right? If I just want a, a, a morning wake up, I'm going to steep it for that normal seven minute time, just depending on what I'm brewing. But I let my tea steep anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes if I am dealing with um, something that is, is, is irritating to me, if, if you will. And I let it brew and steep right inside of a mason jar. Okay. Once it's finished, uh, it's really easy. All you've got to do Take, take your top off, take out your tea bag. Don't throw it away, honey, because you might be able to steep this another one, two times, okay? So don't throw your tea bag away. Um, but you sit it to the side and now you've got your cup of medicine. Does that make sense, everyone? Does that make yep. sense? Yes. You do not want the phytochemicals. You don't want that floating into your, that now all you're doing is drinking a cup of, of leaves, sis. I'm gonna be honest with you, honey. You just, we just now drinking beautiful leaves now. We're not getting the, the medicinal benefits that we're actually looking for, okay? So it's important to trap that inside of a cup. Yes, honey, go ahead with your question. I see, so, it. I see the hands I up. I like the fact that I also steep my teas, but they get very cold. I like very hot tea. So can I reheat it? Yes, you can, but it just really, it just depends. You know, I'm a, I'm really iffy when it comes to reheating my tea, y'all. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't like using the microwave <laughs> very much. Um, and I, I, you can reheat it though. I'm, I'm just a little more, I'm just a little picky. Okay. I, I am, hot plate. I, what's that? Sorry. I use a hot plate that I also use to hot plate, put my wax right? mills and that sometimes work because I like a little warmer tea, especially in the winter time. Yes. Yes. So do I, I do the exact same thing. So here, let me show you what I've got here. 
My teapot is typically running, I want to say almost all day. This is probably a horrible idea to just let it run all day, but I use an electric kettle, especially here while I'm at my office. And it, I, I love it. First of all, I'm able to um, simply press a button and it, it automatically sets the proper temperature. So if I'm brewing here, let me, let me get it a little bit closer so y'all can see. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but there's a button on here that says green tea, white tea. Here it says oolong tea, French press, black tea. So um, you can literally press a button and it will brew your water at that proper temperature and it will stay warm. Your water will stay warm all day. So that's the, that's the route that I typically um, tend to go to. I will reheat um, a, a new pot of water before I reheat my whole cup of tea, if that makes sense. What well, brand is that? I do these like yes, honey, let me tell you, this is my favorite little device, okay? So this is from Haddon, so I'm gonna spell it for you, okay? H-A-D-I-N-E-E-O-N. I got this off of Amazon and it was about $36, okay? I love Perfect. this thing. But first of all, I had broke it about two years after having it. I sent them a request letting them know that I broke it and they sent me a new one for free, y'all. Outside of my warranty and everything, okay? So I really, really enjoyed this electric kettle um, very, very much. This is how I allow my water to steep, okay? Um, I'm sorry, this is how I allow my water to heat up, especially when I'm outside of my home. Yes, I love the electric kettle. Um, okay, now that my water is hot enough, you guys, because we do need to get to this bingo game, honey, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my hot, hot water into my French press. That is what I'm going to be using today. I wanted to use a French press today because I wanted to show some of those of you who have not seen or experienced butterfly pea flower. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like as it brews. This is my favorite, favorite um, color changing herb outside of, I just added a little bit more y'all, outside of um, hibiscus. That's another one of my favorite, beautiful, beautiful color changing herbs. But as you can see, the butterfly pea flower has already started turning this beautiful aqua blue color. And as you let it steep longer, the color will get more and more vibrant blue. Now, there's a little bit of a trick with the steeping time when you're dealing with butterfly pea flower. I recommend that you steep this plant no longer than about four minutes, four to five minutes. Um, it will start to get a, the flavor will change um, a, a tad and it might not be as appetizing. It's also really easy to cook, you can say, this herb as well. Can you guys see the color changing even more since the last time I, I held it up? Yeah. And yes. what, what temperature is the water? This is on 212 degrees, so boiling hot water, okay? We still want this to be on boiling hot water, and you see it's getting darker and darker, y'all. We're going to do one more color change with this beautiful, beautiful, um, this beautiful herb. You see it getting darker, y'all? You see it getting darker? Okay. So I'm going to let this, I'm going to sit this to the side and pull up the bingo game. I heard a question. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is Donna. Hi. Hi, Donna. Where do you get the butterfly pea flower? Hi. Where do yes, you get the butterfly pea flower? Yes, butterfly pea flower. So if you're interested in buying, you can simply go to my website, www.bougieteaparty.com. Look in the store. Okay. We've got over 300 different herbs in stock. Um, and we definitely have lots of butterfly pea flower here. We include this beautiful herb in quite a few of our blends to just give the blend more um, vibrant color. Um, it gives the blend, um, it just makes it more lively, right? Who wants an ugly, nasty tea? I don't. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want an ugly, nasty tea. I would like a beautiful, beautiful tea. Now, do you guys see how it's gotten a little bit darker here? What I'm going to do is one color change and that is going to be using the acidity of a lemon, all right? So let me grab one of my, one of my see-through teacups. <coughs> oh, here it is. 
All right. Okay. It's gotten quite dark. It's gotten quite dark. You are right. So we're going to pour it right in this little vessel here, this little teacup. And one more color change for the wind using a few drops of lemon. You guys see it turn into this beautiful purple? Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes, yes, Woo. yes, yes. So My favorite color. Acidity, <laughs> I know, right? Especially this vibrant oh. color purple. Oh, and she, beautiful. Yes. yes. So I, love I love, yes, add a little honey. And this is so funny, y'all. We are plant based in our home. Um, and I tell people all the time, like, I, there's no way that I could be all the way vegan. I love honey way too much. It just, it just would not work for me at all. Okay. But yes, the pH reaction from the lemon, you can use lime, you can use grapefruit. Um, that is what is going to change the color of this beautiful, beautiful butterfly pea flower. And then guys, you can also have a, even more fun with the butterfly pea flower. If you want to add like a tonic water or a soda water, it will also give your butterfly pea flower like a pink color. So it'll change it even more. You can even have fun with it by doing layers and um, you know, just capturing pictures as it changes colors. That's always really, really fun. Um, so yes, this is one of my absolute favorite blends. Oh, I cool. am using one of my favorite teaspoons. I don't know if y'all can see this. I'm from Arizona, you guys, born and raised. So I've got, I'm a teaspoon collector. I've got these little cute Grand Canyon teaspoons that I like using. It makes me feel like I'm back at home, y'all. Makes me feel like I'm back in the desert, honey. All right, let's get to this. I have a question. Guys. Yes, I have I'm a question. I have this yes, little one. Um, <laughs> all you wonderful ladies here. Um, can you make a, can you take a, a deco detoxion and make a tea? What do you mean? Can you make a decoction and make a tea? Can you can you be making a, a decoc a decoction like uh, ginseng? You got a ginseng root and something yep. else, maybe some uh, orange peel, and you got that on. You know, you, you're boiling that up, and then you got some uh, like some green tea, and you put it in there to let it steep. Well, I, I wouldn't add the green tea in with those other roots because the green tea is going to need a completely different water temperature and steeping time. Your green tea is going to be really, really astringent if you do it that way. But let me rephrase when I whenever I say the word tea, OK, in the United States, we use the word tea very, very loosely. In other countries, tea is actually very, the word tea is actually legally regulated for only the Camellia sinensis plant, all right? So what we created today, or what I created today is an infusion, all right? Which is a, it, it's a process, okay? Just like a decoction is a process. Um, it's a method of, of, of making medicine, just like creating an infusion is a method of making medicine. Tea is a, a noun, all right? T is a noun, is person, place, or thing. T is the camellia sinensis plant. And with that plant, we are creating an infusion. Um, you don't wanna create a decoction with the camellia sinensis plant, however. Um, uh, that, that's not the way that you are going to wanna prepare that particular herb. Uh, two questions, one, um, isn't that often called a tisane? Anything not? Yes, ma'am. It is called a tisane, French word for herbal infusion. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Job. When when you, when you, <laughs> yes, tisane. Yes, tisane. tisane. <laughs> I've been wanting somebody else to pronounce it for so long. <laughs> yes, yes. Tisane. The other thing was. How do you, you say it properly, Miss Johnson? Tizan. Tizan. Like, on, on, on. Like we all been backing it up a little bit. Hello. Yes. One other question, please. Uh, right before you decided that we're going to change with uh, citrus, 
I thought perhaps you were going to bring hibiscus in. Have you done the two of those together? And you did it know, have honey, a I have not done the two of those together, but it is most certainly worth a try. I um, I would. I mean, who says? I mean, who says you can't? Give it a shot. Uh, not me. <laughs> and, right? and what flavor does this? Um, does what you made today have? Other okay, than so the butterfly pea flower. pea flower, it really is, it really has a very light, subtle flavor. If anything, it's kind of earthy or woodsy, but it's so, it's so light. The, you're going to taste way more of the citrus or the lemon juice or the lime juice than anything. Um, honestly, so it's its essence. And it it's tastes sight. like a lemonade. It just, it tastes like a light lemonade is what it tastes like. Mm, it's beautiful. Hello. It's absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favorite herbs to add into, um, you know, various blends because of the fact that it does not taste like anything, but it always produces this beautiful color. So Roxy, <laughs> can, can this be taken at any time of the day or is there a particular time of the day? Or Great can this question. Be had with food or without food? I what? love your questions, honey. You can drink this any time of day. There is no caffeine in this, um, in this herb at all. So you are free to include it into your evening routine, your morning routine. Um, you definitely want, I mean, yeah, you, you have some flexibility when it comes to both of both the lemongrass and the butterfly pea flower. Um, yeah, there's no caffeine. Roxy, I, I have a question. This is into my morning routine. One more question and we got to get to the bingo game, you guys. Roxy, at what temperature would you brew a green tea? You mentioned different temperature, different yes. times. Wonderful question. So green tea is supposed to be brewed at 175 degrees. Okay. So right. I mean, if you're looking at the water, your water bubbles is um, at the bottom of your pot need to be very, very small. Okay. So if you want to visualize it and if you don't have like a, a temperature stick, um, the water, the bubbles um, in your water as it's boiling, they need to be very, very tiny. Okay, that's that's smaller than fish eyes. Um, fish <laughs> eyes, I would say, is more like oolong tea. Um, the fish eyes size. Okay, if you guys are following me with the, you know, the size <laughs> of fish eyes. Okay, um, which fish? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yes. Does everyone have their bingo card up? No. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, I have to get it. Wait a second. Get to your bingo cards, ladies. I'm going to post somewhere the link here. One more time. I'm going to post the link one more time in the Zoom. I had it. it, but I don't know where it went. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let me, how do I send it to everyone? Send it to everyone. Okay, I just reposted it. Okay, I'll do it over. <laughs> um, I, my name is not there, so you can't post it to mine. Can you post it on the chat, please? Yes, ma'am, I did post it to everyone. I realized that I had sent it directly to you. I didn't even know I had that feature, honey. Um, but thank you so much. I did end up sending it to everyone. So does everyone have a copy of the bingo card? Yes. 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 All right. Let's get yes. to it, honey. Let's get to the bingo gang, you guys. Um, all right. Word or herb number one is calendula. Calendula. Mm, Love it. Love it. Next okay. word is passion flower. We are gonna keep it moving, y'all. Passion flower. Next okay, word is to check quickly. Is it working yes. for everyone else? Because I had calendula and it said it'd be oh, cross. Is that? Oh no, it's okay. Don't worry. I just realized how it works. Never mind. <laughs> Embarrassing for you, learn the joy. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. No worries. Oh, why does it keep flashing? Yeah. Shoot, it keeps flashing. Ooh. Oh. There uh -oh. is no calendula. Right, we're gonna move on. This is it's bingo time, y'all. All right, I'm gonna start over one more time. I'm gonna start over one more time. Calendula. Uh, I keep losing my passion flower. 
Lemongrass. Kalea. Kalea Zakatashishi. That's the next one. Kalea. Mexican dream herb. Mexican dream herb or Kalea. Next herb is Damiana. Oh my God, I'm actually making a tincture out of that. Yes, honey. I love I, it. I what are you going to use your tincture for? What is your libido. why? Yeah, I what suffer with low libido, so I'm using Dominion for that. What was the last word? Good job. Um, the one before Damiana is Kalea. Kalea Zakatashishi. Kalea. Oh, I mispronounced it. Damina Damiana? Damiana. Damiana. Um, Roxy, if you type the uh, bingo calls in the chat, then uh, people can keep track of things a little bit easier. Oh, I, I, I can do that. Go ahead with a good suggestion. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Let me, uh, well, you know, let me see if that's going to be realistic. Yeah, because uh, I can't see my, I can't see the other piece while I'm on this one. You can't what? I can't see the other page. I can't see the Zoom chat when I'm on the actual game board. Exactly. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Can you? Oh, can you hear me though, or no? No, I can hear you. I just okay, can't. you don't have to see me right now, sis. As long as you can hear me, because all we're doing is playing bingo. <laughs> you can minimize just it too, and it'll to... show up. Minimize so it. Yeah, you new window. Work. Minimize it. Yeah. Roxy oh just needs to be the only Dark. one talking when she says the herb. I, I agree because I have four. How many did you All right, say? I'm going to start over for y'all. Let me see. Hold on, you guys. We're going to work this game out, okay? Because we don't, we, listen, we're going to work this game on out. I'm going to go ahead and type them in here. I'm going to go ahead and type them in here. Everybody's so card is different. Follow. Yes, it is. <laughs> card is different. So you might not have all of the, all the names, right? You might not. Has everybody played bingo? Do I need to explain the bingo rules right. one time? Right. Like people are saying that I only got four. You probably only got four of the calls. Maybe. No, I, I only Maybe. heard the <laughs> Let me explain the bingo rules one time. Assumptions were made. No, that's not what I meant. I meant I only heard four because everybody's chiming in. So sometimes we block Roxy's voice. You, thank you, honey. Yes. Let's go ahead and limit it to my voice so we can get through this bingo game. We can get a winner mm -hmm. and then we can have our little teacup competition winner. And then everybody can go about their amazing day. Word number one was calendula. Herb number two is passion flower. And I am typing these inside of the chat, you guys. The next herb is lemongrass. After lemongrass is Kalea. After Kalea is Damiana. Yes. Next is Wormwood. Wormwood. Yes, Victoria, thank you for that tip, honey. The next herb is cramp bark. This is one of my favorites to use during that time of the month. Y'all know about that that time of the month. At least some of y'all do. I see a couple men in here. So at least some of y'all know about it. Crab bar. <laughs> the next herb on the list is white willow bark. Another one of those herbs that I love to use during that time. White willow bark. <clears throat> nature's aspirin, y'all. Nature's aspirin. Next is chamomile. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, I heard two bingos. Yes, bingo. I'm over here dancing in my seat. All right, bingo number one. What is your bingo card? My, my bingo card is uh, 032. All right, number 032. Bear with me just a moment, number 032. Okay, go ahead and read off the herbs that you got on your bingo sheet, please. Oh my God. Chamomile, white willow bark. I have a free space. Kalia's, I, I think I said it right, Kalia. Yep. Um, and wormwood. I got you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Did I hear another bingo in the room? Yes. Kristen? All right. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. 
Bingo number zero three two. What's your name? Because I can't, I couldn't see you, honey. Oh, Shanier, C H N E E R. You know what, Shanier? Can you go ahead and put your bingo number and your name and your email? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry to make you do this, but can you no, put no, your I'm information fine. in the chat for me? Sure. Okay. And then bingo winner number two, what is your card number? 028. Wonderful. And can you read off your herbs, ma'am? Your Damiana, Calendula, Cramp Bark, Lemongrass, Chamomile. There we go. Yes. Well, congratulations. And what's your name, winner number two? Kristen Roth. Kristen. Kristen, can you do the same for me, please, honey? Can you please, please put your name and your email address inside of the chat so I can make sure that I get your information and send you guys your links, your uh, codes, so you can get your free VIP kit and your free entry to any workshop that we have. Our next workshop we've got coming up is actually on um, April 1st. We've got a self-love, self-care workshop, Essential Herbs for Self-Care. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I might have to reschedule that one. Um, I'm leaving out of town today and I might still yeah, be That's gone. my baby so birthday. Oh, okay. Well, good. So listen, this reschedule will work out perfect so you can attend. Um, I will be actually doing that workshop most likely the following week. Um, but if you sign up um, on my website with your email address, you'll get a 15% off code and you'll be able to be in the loop when it comes to which workshops that we have coming up next. But we do have another workshop coming up April 10th, Herbs for Allergies Masterclass. I don't know about y'all, but as soon as March 21st hits, my allergies automatically knows that it is that time, okay? Um, so we are going to be discussing all of those annoying allergy symptoms and the top 30 herbs that help target each of those. So that is going to be a fun workshop. Everyone who attends that workshop that gets a kit, you'll receive about 15 um, different herbs that target allergy symptoms. And we'll talk about each of them. Um, and then of course we will create our allergy free blend. I saw a question, when will we restock the master herbalist kit? Let me tell you, honey, those master herbalist kits are no joke. They are over 150 different products. So they take forever for us to create. We've got about seven of them in our queue right now. So as soon as we release those, then we will go ahead and open up the Master Herbalist kits once again. Um, and if anyone is interested, those Master Herbalist kits, again, they've got over 150 flowers, herbs, powders, essential oils, carrier oils, honey, um, vegan capsules, in case you will start making capsules, a capsule maker, a digital scale. It's got all of the essentials that everyone needs that has a in-home um, apothecary or is looking to expand their medicine making skills. It's got mason jars in there, dropper bottles. Uh, I mean, er listen, honey, it is the entire shebang. So we will restock that as soon as we get these other orders out of our queue. We don't want you, uh, we don't want you waiting. So who has their teacups, their fancy teacups? I I know you guys have been seeing me sip out of this teacup, but this is one of my favorite, favorite teacups. So whoever has a teacup, we're going to just hold it up, honey. We just going to hold up our teacup right in front of the camera. Let's see these teacups, y'all. I'm about to take a picture, you guys. These are some pretty teacups. Yes. I kind of figured, uh, I kind of thought what's more bougie than David from Schitt's Creek. That's what I'm saying, honey. Listen, that's what I'm saying. Charlotte, I see you in your teacup, girl. I like yeah. that teacup, Miss Charlotte. And Jennifer, Mc, was it McDowell? McDowell, Mc, is that the last name? Mc honey, Mc your teacup, girl. Really? I love your tea set, honey. I'm going to have to inbox This is my great grandmother's. Well, you know, oh, oh, beautiful. I love yeah, it. You know. vintage teacups in here. Oh, you know, guys, Amy, what do you have, Amy? 
Amy, what is it, tall cot? Yeah, it's a it's a, a peacock. It's it's a kettle, and then it has the the cup underneath. I love so it. Lines up. That is so cute. Yeah, so it's my cute. favorite. Stephanie, let me see your you teacup. Girl. Girl. Like, I'm good. trying very hard not to connect with people right now, girl. I need one of them. Okay, <laughs> I love your coffee cup, Stephanie. <laughs> I'm like, ew, David. <laughs> Why do you think oh, you're Carol <laughs> Little, I love your set, Miss Carol. Where did you get that, honey? I've had it forever. I think it was a little used, you know, store that you buy treasures, but 30 years ago at least. It's a little All weird. right. Ooh. It is gorgeous. You guys, go ahead and cast your votes below, please. I'm pretty sure you've had, oh. if you have not scrolled over and looked at everybody's teacups, please scroll around. Look oh, at your uh, Roxy, different I got, counterparts. Roxy, I got, to read, I got to read what's on my cup, okay? I mean, this is the oh. whole thing about the cup. You can't tell it's the background. Cat. That was funny. It's a cat <laughs> on the phone, okay? And it says 3 a.m. Cat. <laughs> My capo isn't completely full. At nine one one. Okay, have you tried meowing for an hour straight? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, they won't get out of bed. Cat nine one one. You're gonna oh die. God. Rest in peace. All the Victoria. Victoria. I love Victoria. <laughs> Victoria, what does yours say, Victoria? This is for the women who don't give a fuck. Hell yes, Victoria for the win, girl. I love it. Hey, Victoria. I love your cup, girl. Yes, 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 yes. My Ooh, cup of tea. I love, I love yours. I love yours. Alice, Yvette. Ooh, Yvette, your cup is gorgeous. Yvette Ramos. Yes. This so is my good. little kid's teacup because it's cold foot, cold's foot, and that's really good for kids for cold. I so love it. Who has cats? In my one one one. Middle of the night meowing. <laughs> <laughs> I love these teacups. Please cast your bows. Please scroll, see if you've got some, if any of your counterparts have some teacups that you love. Please, please cast your vote. The winner is going to receive a nice, uh, boozy cast your vote. This, this, is, this is my own teacup. Diana. Her own. <laughs> let me scroll over to you. Oh, let me see, Margaret. Hold it closer to the camera. Diane. Look at Margaret, you. I used to I used to oh. connect uh, I used to collect Royals teacups and then I yes. lost everything in a fire, but I had I never found a Diana, so I'm I'm jealous of that. That <laughs> is so cool. Go to Mika. The struggle is real, but so is God. I love it. I love it. I, love I just it. wanted to share my cup that um this is a Japanese cup with a lotus in the middle. Oh, I and love it's it. Hand, it's actually hand painted. It was a gift from my husband. <gasps> you oh, wait it is gorgeous it and is it gorgeous like the, I, i'd actually oh, got the lotus too, so my husband found the lotus actually imprinted in the middle of the cup and it's in 3d you know you might wow. listen to this i'm gonna tell you honey you might want to get that bad boy a prize okay <laughs> i just read on cnn it was like three Something went scout um and they bought this tea set for thirty dollars and it was worth like two million dollars. So wow. um, yes, honey, if you've got some beautiful vintages, I love going thrifting, finding vintage um yes. vintage tea yes. sets, and I do not mind going to get them appraised, honey. Yes, so you find you'll find some beautiful stuff out there. Oh, Olivia, I love your yellow cup, honey. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. All right, let me go back to the Zoom chat. I am about to tally up these um, votes. Oh, it's tight, y'all. The votes are in. If you have not submitted your vote, please do so now. I am counting them up right now. I'm voting for Dinah. Is it Dinah or Dina? Dinah. <laughs> Dinah. 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 Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Got a cat with the Listen, 
Yeah, yeah. Like well, yeah. Few it's, that year. I love it now. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> this oh, one is from is Russia, true. where I the know. people who worked in the oh, factory yeah. had to go and Can't sell their. No had Can to go and go sell their cups once? at the train There's station. so many. <laughs> They're so, I mean, these, you guys, these cups are beautiful. How do you guys typically like to find your tea sets? Are you guys going to vintage stores? Are you going to yeah. stores? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and tea shops. Yeah. 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 All yeah. the travel. Always, always on my Christmas list. Yeah. I like yes. to go to my collect me. Oh, thank you. My <laughs> sister did my like shopping cups. for me. She's always giving me tea cups that she finds. I'll collect tea cups. I love that. Is always that on my, my list, honey. <laughs> Can I hear yes. the story about the Russian yes. cup? Again? Somebody had a Russian cup held up, but didn't get to explain much about it. Can I hear that story? <laughs> I do. It's uh, it's from a friend who married somebody from Russia, and they were taking a tour by train. And the people who worked there at this glass uh, glass teacup place had to go out to the trains and sell the. They were paid in the form of the things that they manufactured, and then they had to go and find ways to sell it. I love that it has a story. I do too. I do too. I am almost do done I. tallying up mm -hmm. the cups. Where else do you guys like to get your tea cups? I am In LA, <laughs> estate sales are great because there's always Ooh, estate sales and yard yeah. sales. No Ooh, that's sure a thing I, do, I actually have not gone to estate sales and yard sales for tea cups. So thank you for that suggestion. Yeah, Roxy, I'm in LA I have a lot of in Sherman Oaks. Where are you? I am actually in Northern California. I'm in the Sacramento area. Where are you guys located? We can go around the room. Where are you guys at? Baltimore, I'm Maryland. north of you, Roxy. I'm in Chico. Oh, oh, yes, you are near me. I'm in, I'm in Fairfield, close to you guys. Fairfield. Hey, Fairfield. Where else are we at in the room? New Jersey. I'm from Houston. I'm from Houston, Houston. Texas. I'm Virginia, New Jersey, California. Hey, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? who else? Massachusetts. 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 Yeah. In the house. England. 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 San Antonio. Roxy, I'm in Sacramento. <laughs> Sacramento, how you doing, neighbor? How I'm good, how are you? Doing? <laughs> New Zealand. I love it. Oh, New Zealand. Zealand. Hey, I got New Zealand. Hey, I Sweden. <laughs> yes, yes. I love every bit of it. All right, y'all. We got a winner. This was a close, close, close competition, you guys. But we have a winner by two votes. By two votes. The winner is Miss Carol. Miss Carol. Yeah. Miss Carol Little, you are the winner, honey. Your set is absolutely <laughs> Yes, congratulations. I love it. Miss Show your cup, Carol. Well, Carol, yes, show, Carol. show your cup off, Carol. Show your cup off. Show your cup, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yay. Yes. You got yes. It. Oh, Nina, you have a cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, I love I it. I love it. Cool cat. I love it, Miss Carol. You said you had that cat for a very long time, right? Oh, that one, yes. yes. It's my favorite. You had it for a long time. I love it. It paid off, honey. You hang on yeah, to that cup for beautiful. even longer, girl. You got you some prizes with that good old cup, honey. So I am excited to send out these prizes. I've got three prizes to send. Miss Carol, please put your information in the chat along with the other ladies. I just need your name, your email address, love. I just okay. need your email address, okay? 
And then I'll be yes. able to send out all of these prizes. I'm going to have these out the door either today or tomorrow. All right. Did Thank everybody you. have a good time today? Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, so happy. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you. You're welcome. So happy. You're so happy. Thank you so much. Blessings. Hey, Miss Roxy. <laughs> Uh, I know that Leslie and I are wondering if you have a brick and mortar because we're nearby and we want to stop by if you do. You listen, honey, I have a blending studio that's not technically open to the public, but honey, listen, if you want to come on down, shoot me a text message. I'll send you my number and come on down, honey. I'm here and we can sip some tea and we can watch some, some feet, girl. We can have some fun. You are more than welcome to come down to my blending studio. Absolutely. Thank you. California to find you. What's that? I said, I'll fly to California to find you. <laughs> I will love it, honey. I, you ain't got to find me. I will send you where I'm at, honey. You ain't got to okay. start hard at all. You come and visit anytime you would like, you guys. I'm here in Sacramento, California. I'm actually, my blending studio is actually located in Roseville, California. And yes, I'm always open for people to come by, see what I've got. We can brew some tea together, have conversation um, and all of that good stuff. Absolutely. Yes, Great. yes. Any questions before I let you guys go? I have a question. Is a, yes, yes. Um, do you have a mentorship program? Yeah. You know, I've been asked that question so many times. And I, I think about doing it often. Let's, I, I'm gonna say, no, it's not a program, but if you're looking for mentorship, I, as you guys see, I'm very bubbly, I'm very open. If you are interested in learning, I would love to give out the information, okay? I didn't spend all of this time and money to, to learn this info and just keep it on the inside. I would love to give it out. Yes, honey, contact me if you're looking for mentorship. I will give you all of the tools and resources that I use on a daily basis. I am no, I'm not that type of person that is all secretive with their stuff and, and you know, don't want to share. And I, I don't understand that. Um, God or universe has given us these tools yeah. um, so we can have life more abundantly. Um, so why not share that information? This is for us to have. This is, yeah. Yes, honey. The answer is yes. Email me if you would like any more information, girl. Okay. Any so more much. questions? <laughs> Roxy, you are awesome. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Can you put Thank on your you. email? Can you post on your Thank email, you. please? I will put my email in the chat for you guys. F I N E S S E Live Holistics.com. Oh, 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 sorry, y'all. I'm over here sending a direct message to somebody. I don't know why it defaults to that. Okay, there we go. My email is now in the chat and bougieteaparty.com. My, e um, my website is also now in the chat as well. Um, if you guys have any questions outside of this um, Zoom conversation, you can always, always go to my website and send a message. Those messages come directly to me and I respond to all of those messages. So whether it's recommendations or um, whatever, just send a message through the Bougie Tea Party website. A little app, a little messenger screen will pop up for you and you can send me a message anytime, okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. Rexy, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I look forward to connecting with all of you guys very soon. You will be on replay. Replay. Oh, Thank you so awesome. much. Replay. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be looping. <laughs> okay, so that does wrap up the session for today as well because of we're at the hour. But thank you so much, Ooh. Roxy. That was amazing. I think I'm like, we, this was so interactive between all of us. It was wonderful to have these conversations. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. I sent you messages. Bye. All right, I will respond to them all. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>